Hey gang, Scott here. I got a quick tip for you for on one effects, uh, doing like a little, um, I'll call it like an inner light because this is not quite a vignette, but it's uh, giving a little extra you know, dodging to uh, to an object that you want to accentuate and not having to do a lot of heavy masking. I'm leveraging Super Select to do this. Let me show you the end result and I'll show you the tip. So in this photo, my subject is clearly this church here. And if I zoom in and I'll toggle off and on the adjustment I have before, and after, you see that little bit of brightness there, and then in the full frame before and after. You know, this subtle little dodge to just add uh, more uh, or draw more attention to the subject. And I used Super Select to build most of this and then tempered it with another masking tool. So let me show you how that worked. Let me turn this one off. I'll choose Super Select and you know, I'm hovering all around. I want to accentuate this and Super Select does a great job. I mean, this is like the, the perfect type of subject for Super Select. It picks all of the architecture. Notice even the trees aren't there. I'm just going to right click, adjustment, and I want to increase my exposure. So right here, exposure plus. Now that's, of course, way over the top in terms of the exposure. The default's a full stop higher. So we'll temper that back to begin with. And I'm just looking for a little touch and I'm paying attention to my main subject that, that that Jesuit church there before after cool good so I've got that done super selected a lot of that for me I don't want this uh, this effect on all of the other parts of the architecture click my masking icon and grab the gradient and choose edges shape for this I'm going to turn the mask overlay on with the O key click once on my subject and then just bring this in. And what I'm doing is I'm removing the effect, masking it away from everything except my subject. And I'll just kind of fade that out nicely so it has a, you know, a, a gentle fall off there. Turn off the mask, and then we have our result before and after. I'm just getting the pop on the subject I want. So you know, that's the tip. You don't have to take super select results at face value and you have a, a larger thing, like a bunch of architecture like I have here, grab your other masking tools. I, I love using the, the edges shaped gradient to do a lot of this work to target things there. And you can very quickly do these, these types of uh, accent adjustments to your photos. Hope you found it useful. Got questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.